at some stage in our lives we've all said, well, I've seen it, but I don't believe it. Well, that's exactly the case, I think, with many, in fact, if not all, who witnessed the running of the Bendigo Cup last week when Major Meister put up an unbelievable performance to greet the judge. I'm joined by Cam Hart to have a chat about the race and also that incident involving Michael Stanley and Rock and Roll Doom. Well, Cam, great to catch up with you yet again on a winning note. Congratulations on another trophy. Yeah, no, thank you. We're having a really good run down in Victoria at the moment and Chase has got them all firing and, yeah, it's been really enjoyable. Kim, before we have a chat about the race, certainly our thoughts go out to Michael Stanley for a very speedy and full recovery from his serious back injuries. Yeah, definitely. Um, yeah, to Mick, hopefully he recovers um, quicker than what they think. But, uh, yeah, it's just an unfortunate what happened. But that's racing and sometimes you can't help these things. But, yeah, hopefully he gets back on the track soon. Before we discuss the incident, Kim, it would have been something that Michael wouldn't have been expecting. Yeah, definitely. You know, he was just trying to get his horse out of the way and it just all happened at a bad stage when we are all moving into the race um, you know, under a hole and, and he was sort of going the, the other way. So, um, yeah, it's just unfortunate, but um, hopefully he'll be sweet. Yeah, how, did it, how did it all unfold, Cam? Yeah, so he was pulling out of the race um, just as we are coming into the three wide line down the back straight and um, I think his horse might have choked down. So he's just trying to get out of the way and just ran straight out the back of him and obviously he's copped a knee in the back from my horse and... Um, you know, hopefully uh, yeah, he recovers all right. And what a win from that point onwards. Did, what was your thoughts at that particular stage? Yeah, to be honest, once I was aiming up the back of Mick, I just thought I'd try and keep my horse on, on his feet and, and probably warm him down after that. I thought the race was over, to be honest. But to the horse's credit, he, he did well to keep in a pace and sort of side sidestep Mick after he'd hit him and, and hit a pace. And yeah, it's quite unbelievable for him to finish off the way he did. Jason and yourself are enjoying a phenomenal run. As you said in a previous interview three or four weeks ago, Jason has such a keen eye for a horse and has such a gut feeling, but he's also prepared to ask a lot of questions and in particular bounce things off you. Yeah, definitely. We um, seem to work well together and you know he's done such a great job with a couple of these horses the last couple of years over the Grand Circuit races and yeah, he puts in the hard yards and he's certainly getting the results. And what an effort by Sicaria. Yeah, he went awesome first up. You know, he, he had a good trip, but he, he definitely um, ran a good race. And he's been such a talented horse the whole way through his career. And, you know, hopefully if he can get anywhere near his best, he's going to do a good job for the team. Well, this week, the Shepherd and Cup rolls around, beautifully drawn in gate two with I cast no shadow. How do you see the race unfolding from there, Cam? Yeah, it's a great barrier for him. And I think I'll be able to find the fence quite comfortably. And yeah, he looks the, uh, you know, the hardest one to beat, I think, from that draw. So, yeah, looking forward to it. And Jay said he's come on really well since the end of Dominion, so he should run a good race. Majestic Cruiser has the second line. Kate Gath to take the reins. Wasn't that his best during the Inter-Dominion Carnival? I think the few weeks off may have just freshened him up nicely because he did have a t uh, very tough uh, New Zealand campaign. Yeah, he should, um, should have benefited from the break and yeah Jace has freshened him up and I was actually when I stayed down there I worked him in the morning for Jace and he felt unreal and you know he's a big horse and he usually takes a couple of runs to really get to his top but he's definitely a class horse in that sort of race so um, even though he needs the run he's still gonna should run well. The team's coming together very nicely moving forward with the Miracle Mile Carnival just around the corner. Yeah that's right it's good to have you know three or four nice grand circuit horses um, you know to bring back to your own backyard in the for the big carnival and yeah, it's always such great racing over the Miracle Mile so yeah really looking forward to that. You've enjoyed a phenomenal past 12 months or so Cam I think seven or eight group one trophies. Yeah it's been unbelievable and you know a lot of that's um, got to do with Jace and and as well as the trainers up here it's uh, yeah it's been unbelievable last couple of years and hopefully we can keep it going this season. You'll need an extension to the trophy cabinet. Yeah yeah I've given a couple to mum and dad and that so they've got a bit more room down there and um, yeah no it's all been really good. I think the eastern suburbs uh, roosters should be uh, putting you on the training staff with the success you've been having. Yeah, I don't know about that, but um, yeah, looking forward to this season coming up. I've been sort of checking out a bit of the roosters content and seeing how they're going in pre-season, but yeah, looking forward to a good season with them as well. And what about your good mate David Wade? He's cock a hoop, to use a uh, eastern suburbs term, about your performances. Yeah, he's been such a big supporter of mine and he's a good mate as well, Dave, and he's done such big things for my career. He, he really kicked me off in Sydney and Silly stable dra uh, driver today, so it's definitely a, a friendship and a, a business partnership that I don't take for granted. Well, taking that on board, Cam, he's looking for backup singers. Yeah, I can't help him there. I think uh, we'll stop at driving his horses. Um, I think that's about as far as my talent goes for, for Dave and I's partnership, but uh, he goes quite well himself. 
Kim, thanks for joining us. Congratulations on the success and moving forward. Some exciting times coming up, not just Saturday night, as we mentioned, but with the Miracle Mile Carnival. Yeah, thank you very much.